In this video, let's take a look at the FT991A and let's take a look at something called QMB memory, which is quick memory banks. And the way that works is it's five memories that you can access really quickly and it is surprisingly very, very easy to store that data. And it will store any setting of that data, simplex or repeaters, HF, it doesn't matter what it is. So let's try it. Let's say, let's move our VFO to Let's move our VFO to that frequency. So let's say that this is a simplex frequency. You can see right here that it has plus and encoded. Let's turn all that off. This will give you a good idea of how the menu works on here. It's actually very easy to use. You can see that all the settings are here and I can put it on simplex. So you have repeater like the other video. I'll post a link to that. It has repeater and it has the tone and even has the frequency on the it has the frequency on the next menu over. So we can go back. This gets rid of that screen. So this is a simplex frequency. This is the important button. RCL STO. And if you hold it down you get a double beep. So now, if we click on RCL store once, really fast, you get that frequency. Now, let's choose another frequency. 440.200. Let's hold this in. I get another double beep. So that's two. Actually, this will work like this. Three, so that's, that will be the third one. Let's hold it in. Four. And then five. This is a great way to check it so we can see what it's doing. Now to access those memories, we just push it once. There's one of them, there's another one, there's a third one, a second, and a first one. Now these will override each other as you keep storing. So let's try something with it. On one of the frequencies, I'll leave it on the first one, whichever that might be. Let's try to put, I'll just put like something in the 40 meter band. So if we go to band seven, and we'll leave that one in and let's store that. I'm going to push it for over one second. It gives you a double beat. Let's see what the frequencies have. Now, this is what's nice. You can access things really quickly. That one is stored in there. Ah, there's the other one. There's the fifth one, the fourth one, the third one, second one, and there's that one. And you can keep going through these and keep pushing them. And at any point, if you want to store one of these to the memory, you can use the AM button, which I have another video on. You will see a link to that on how to store memory. So that's a quick video of what it has for these five quick memories, which I find very useful in case you want to switch around really quickly. And have fun with the radio, learn the menus and play with the menus, and 73s. If you liked the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as I will be posting a lot of videos, especially instructional videos on how to use the menu systems on all different radios, 73s from KE6VRK.